Salaam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm with my, my dear brother, Badu Jack. What's going on, bro? Walaikum salam, bro. I'm good, man. Just chilling here in my backyard. It's uh, hot here. Man. Hot out there, <laughs> huh? You in Vegas, yeah. huh? Yeah, Vegas. So you got that Saudi heat going on, bro. Almost, but this is like dry heat, though. How's it over I mean, there? Riyadh is dry. You know, you know what I mean? Oh, you was in too, Dubai. Right. Dubai was humid when you was out in Dubai, but Riyadh is, yeah, like, yeah. Riyadh is like Vegas, man. Oh, wow. How was the family? Uh, Alhamdulillah, they they good. The kids getting crazy, but I mean we got a we got a pretty big house, so they 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 have you got enough space to run around, and they got the backyard, oh. man. You got to let them burn that energy, bro. Yeah, yeah, they got a lot of energy too. That's good, man. I appreciate you taking your time, man. It's actually, you know what I mean. I was trying to get into the podcast interviewing for a minute, so I figured now that it's quarantine, I got a lot of time on my hands, so I decided to do it. Of course, you're one of the first ones that I wanted to get on the show, bro. So I appreciate you taking your time, man. Uh, thank you, my brother. I appreciate you having me. How was um Abdullah? Yeah, he's good. He's good. He's uh, he's uh, like 30 minutes from me. He's also in in the house with the family. So we hang out all the time. Like his daughter, my daughter are best friends. So that's dope. It's sad we can't hang out, but yeah, we hang out on Facetime instead. That's good, man. This will be over soon, inshallah, man. So I'm just going to ask some questions, man. I, I know you got to do your thing out there, man. I know you got to start training. You, you ain't start training today, yeah. huh? Yeah, nah, not yet, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to work out in like an hour or so. For sure, man. So, so you was born in Sweden? Born in Sweden, yep. My mom is Swedish. My dad is from Gambia, West Africa. Okay, okay. I noticed recently you've been traveling to Gambia. As a kid, was you able to spend some time in Gambia or only Sweden? No, uh, I've been there three times. So I was there, uh, what was it, when I was 18, 17, like uh, 2000. Okay. So in 2016 and now 2020. So I forgot what year it was. I've been to Gambia, man. I think I went mm. to Gambia about 2000, and um, my first time ever going to Africa was Gambia in 2000, um, like seven, 2008. And I was oh, amazed, nice. you know, because it was a, it was, it was a large amount, it's a community with a lot of Americans that's from our community in Los Angeles that's living there. One of the oh, president, wow. not the president, not the last president, but the one before him, he gave out this land and said, any African-Americans, any black Americans that want to come to Gambia, he go your land, you can build your house. He really looked out. Yeah. So a lot of people from my community in LA, they moved out there. So when I went yeah. out there, man, I was amazed because um, the people was friendly. You know what I mean? I was looking at, I was looking at brothers like, man, he looked like my uncle, man. He looked like <laughs> grandpa. You know I mean? The people were friendly. I remember being paranoid. I forget the name of this food that they had because we also have a lot of Gambians in California, LA. A lot of them yeah. in LA and they opened up a small mosque in um, Hollywood. And they used to have this fish with rice every Friday. I forget the oh, name. Oh yeah. I forget the name of it, but that joint banger. So when I was in Gambia, one of the brothers, American brother, Abdul Rahman, he was like, look, I'm gonna take you to get that fish and rice you, you like to eat. So when I yeah. went, it was like a, man, it was like a, a makeshift restaurant. And I was like, man, I ain't eating in this joint, man. He's like, trust me, you're good. You're not gonna, nothing ain't gonna happen. <laughs> and he was right, man. I ate there, bro. The food was delicious. No food poison. I went there every day until I left. <laughs> it's a beautiful bro, country, it was the man. same thing for smiling me. Smiling coast. You know what I mean? Yeah, smiling coast of Africa. That's what they say. No, the sure. same thing happened to me. So I was there. Uh, do you know, um, what's the name of the brother? Abu Bakr. Abu yeah, Bakr, yeah, that's my Rose. man from London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we went to his uh, the spot project. His orphanage. yeah, he doing he doing some good things with yeah, the orphans out yeah. there, man. May Allah bless him, yeah, he, bro. He's doing some good things. Yeah, he's man. a great brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's so also so Gambian. I took him to. Yeah, he also Gambian like me. So we um we went to this hood ass restaurant, <laughs> uh, and and he was like ah uh, he wasn't sure he wanna he was gonna eat that. He said, well, "You guys world champion stuff. You guys eat this?" I said, "Bro, <laughs> trust me." When he tried it, he's like, "Oh my God, this is good." <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he, yeah, yeah. He, he good, man. It, it was delicious, yeah. man, and the people was nice. Yeah. I just because that was my first time in Africa. You know what I mean? And the people yeah. was nice. It, it, it wasn't what we expected. You know, um, unfortunately, Americans, especially Black Americans, we we ignorant when it comes to Africa. You know what I mean? Yeah. We, we ignorant when it comes to that thing, and we 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 fell 
um, into the narrative that everything in Africa or West Africa, you know what I mean, is poverty and impoverished and, and the people are poor and the people, you know what I mean? When I went there, it was, it was parts of Gambia, man. They was living, they, mashallah, you know what I mean? They was doing their thing, man. Yeah. The same with Nigeria. When I went to Nigeria, I went to Abu Jah. And I was surprised, man. Oh, they had man. neighborhoods that looked like Los Angeles, California, all nice homes. You know, that's the side of Africa they don't want to show. You know what I mean? Right, right. For I've sure. been to Namibia also. That okay. That's amazing. 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 Better than a lot of parts in Europe. Wow, wow. See, I got to yeah. visit, man. After this quarantine, yeah. we're going to be taking traveling. We're going to be more grateful right. to be able to travel, bro. You know what I mean? Right. Now you got to come to Saudi. That's the next, that's your nah. next visit. Bro, I was just there. I mean, in Dubai, but I, the passport, the, the, I was canceling my visa or something. So yeah, you told yeah, me. Yeah, they held my passports. I, I, otherwise, I had two, three days. I didn't do nothing. I was gonna come over and visit. Yeah, you told me, man. Next, next time, time inshallah. inshallah, man. So we gonna ask a little question. We gonna ask a few questions, man. So when did you realize you had hands, bro? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I always you knew I had a little bit, but uh, as far as skills and stuff, probably when I start boxing. Uh, it's 20 years ago now. Okay. But did it come, yeah. you know what I mean? Because like us in America, most of us, especially coming from Jersey, a lot of people don't know when I was a youngster, man, I went to boxing school, me and my brother. My brother oh, okay. took it more serious. And he even fought yeah. in um, golden, not the golden gloves, one of these um, in Newark, one of these these um, these amateur events, man. But he was making his way up okay. there, you know what I mean? But the streets, unfortunately, got the best of him. So he went to the streets and left the boxing alone. But we was in yeah. boxing school when I was a kid, man. So, but we, knew, we we had to have hands because growing up in our in our environment, we had to fight. Yeah, this is before right. guns. You know what I mean? Was it like that? As <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, now I have I you know I've been in the states for like ten years now. I heard it's crazy yeah. over there. It's guns, shootings, killings everywhere. People don't fight no more, like with yeah. their hands. That's true, bro. Yeah, but uh, yeah, no, I mean. I, I went, was in some fights, but not, I wasn't a violent guy or nothing. Bro. Yeah, you a humble dude, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. It takes a lot to get you angry, bro. <laughs> yeah. But if they come to me, it's different, but. For sure, you know, for sure. That's how yeah, it's supposed to be, be bro. <laughs> <laughs> so. I can defend myself. We all, we know that, man. We know that, man. <laughs> so, so basically, so you've been in America for 10 years. Was it a, a culture shock or was it, what was the difference between, you know, growing up in Sweden and then coming to America, man? And, you know what I mean? The boxing environment is like any other entertainment. You're going to come across all types of people, good, bad, you know, ugly, friendly, you know what I mean? In America, sometimes you can be walking in a place, it can be a violent situation. Like, I know, is, is it a yeah. big difference between, of course, now in Sweden, I was there not last year, not too long ago, and I was with QD3, he's doing a lot of work out there, the son of Quincy Jones. And I was, yeah. I was speaking to people, man, and they were talking about how people in Sweden got AK-47s, they throwing grenades. Like, I was shocked yeah. at the stories that I was hearing about, you know what I mean? And um, yeah. so was it like, so what was it different? What was, the, was it a culture shock coming to America? I mean, not really. I've been, you know, it's a Western country, so it's basically the same. It's just like, I grew up listening to hip hop, and so I, I know everything like that. So yeah. not really. Just as far as boxing is different. And yeah, uh, yeah you live and you learn, you met some, uh, meet some, you know, shady people and stuff in this business. Every, but it's probably yeah. the same thing in the music business too, so. Yeah, the music yeah. is a hundred times worse, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I know that, so I heard that Brandon, what is his name? Shannon Briggs is the one who, who, who discovered you in Sweden and brought you to the States? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this was like 2009. So I had my, I think my third or fourth uh, professional fight. And he was there as invited as a guest. And, uh, you know, he really loved my style and, you know, he loved me. We became good friends and, yeah, I moved to his house, actually. Wow. And then dope. he's, dope. yeah. So he started a promotional company and his partner and him, they uh, they didn't get along. So they had to release all the fighters and then I moved to Vegas and I've been yeah. here ever since. So let me ask you, man, because, you know, a lot of entertainers, boxers, rappers, musicians, whatever, when they, when they, when they on top, a lot of times they don't, they don't think of what's next, you know what I mean? Like we say, everybody had yeah. their run. Alhamdulillah, you still young, may Allah protect you, may Allah preserve you. Um, I always ask artists, musicians, what would be advice you would give someone that's in 
this business as a backup plan, something to do after. For example, when you retire, I'm sure you're gonna probably, you're not gonna wanna box for too much longer, you know what I mean? Or when you, want, when you retire, what's the plans do you have? Are you gonna get into business, entrepreneurship? Um, we also wanna touch up on your charity after this, but I wanna know, you know, yeah. some advice you can give us. You know what I mean? Get I mean, Alhamdulillah, I'm Muslim, so I have the right mindset, but uh, like a lot of young fighters here, they as soon as they get a little bit of money, they spend it on cars, jewelry, and, and, and you know, just bullshit. Of course, it's not it's nice to have a nice car, but of course, but uh, you know, be smart with your money. Uh, you know, boxing is not gonna last forever, and you're not gonna get those paydays your whole life. For sure, you know, sure. from so boxing, so you gotta have a backup plan. Yeah, definitely, definitely gotta have a backup plan. One of the things, man, that you a lot of people don't really probably know if they do know, what maybe. You know what I mean? We can highlight is that you do a lot of charity. You got the Badu Jack Foundation, and um, yes, I know that you do a lot of work with the camps in Jordan, if I'm not mistaken. A lot of refugees yep. in Gambia. Can you touch up on that, man? What made you get into this foundation and charity? All right. So we we started. Uh, I think it was what is it, 2018 or se seven, 17? I think. Uh, the Body Jack Foundation. So it's uh, our mission is to give kids all over the world a fighting chance in life, mm. not 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 boxing, just you know <laughs> <laughs> to survive. So yeah, so I want to use my platform, my name, and you know help uh, help kids, especially okay. refugee kids. Don't okay. have to just be kids, but uh, yeah. So we we uh, have a Syrian refugee camp we're working with, a Palestinian mm -hmm. refugee camp. Now we partner up with uh, Abu Bakr and the uh, Spot Project, also in my in my home country, Gambia. Dope, so dope. yeah, we got a lot of I'm good things. I'm joining still you, going man. On. Abu Bakr hit me yeah. up not too long ago, asked me to come to Gambia. Maybe next summer, man. Maybe we go together. You know what I mean? Do yeah, yeah, definitely. Kids, man. You're gonna love it over there. Yeah, it's beautiful, it's man. So beautiful. The last time I was there it was yeah. beautiful. Also, bro, man. You know what I mean? Let's talk about health. You know what I mean? Let's talk about health because, mm. mashallah, tabarak Allah. You working out, you know, as a boxer, I yeah. believe you can't slip. You can't go too long without exercising. And and now that yeah. we're on quarantine, we all stuck in the house. What is some of the advice you can give us, you know what I mean, to stay healthy, to stay moving? Everybody don't got the bo the, uh, the heavy bag like you, but what can we do? Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't know how it is over there. You, you're allowed to go out and, and run? We can, you know what I mean, from 6 a.m. Yeah. to 3 p.m. within our neighborhood, man. But you yeah. know, the heat is the heat is kicking in, but that shouldn't matter. Yeah. The health is well. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, but that's not healthy, too, to run it anyway. It's too hot. <laughs> but <laughs> get a little, you yeah. know, power walk or something. I mean, I have now I've built a little gym in my garage, a pretty big gym. So I, I got see. everything I need. But <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a fan of, of, of running, to be honest. I have one of my stamina is great, For sure. but uh, I'm not a fan of running. <laughs> I just I just order a treadmill too, so we'll see. But yeah, just do, stay active, do something. You can do it in the living room, push ups, sit ups, For sure. uh, burpees, uh, what you call um, jumping jacks, whatever. If you have some other equipment like weights and stuff, that's good too. But you yeah. can do. Uh, you don't really need weights. You can do squats. You can do whatever. Just like thirty minutes every day. For sure. It's not that much. So yeah. Yeah, we gonna we gonna get it popping, man. Y'all hear that, man? We can help yeah. as well, man. You know what, Badu, <laughs> man? One of the things I admire about you, man. Um, I think we probably met. We probably know each other not too, maybe two years now, I believe. Um, yeah. And um, you always smiling. You always happy. And uh, what would you say is your key to your happiness, your foundation? Because a lot of youngsters, when they get involved in, whether it's boxing, music, we all make these mistakes where we go, you know what I mean? We, we mess up multiple times. But you, alhamdulillah, yeah. by the permission of Allah, you have a, a strong foundation somewhere. What would you say that foundation is that's keeping you grounded? Because we need people like yourself to show the positive side of that life. You know what I mean? I mean, Islam. Islam. That's what it is. I'm, yeah, Islam. That's 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 what keeps me, uh, you know, strict. I'm uh, I'm not saying I'm perfect or nothing, but but that's maybe uh, the difference between me doing uh, you know stupid stuff. For sure. Of course, I do mistakes. Of course, everybody do mistakes everybody. And, and sin. But yeah, I'm trying to be as uh, good as possible, and you know, I've been 
I've been robbed a lot of decisions in my in my career, but mm. so, alhamdulillah, and keep it keep it pushing, keep, keep it pushing, forward, forward. keep it better than yeah. what you lost, man. And yeah. that's that's one of the things you said is good because you know what I mean. A lot of people, I have a lot of non-Muslim friends, and when I try to call them to Islam, yeah. sometimes they say, "Look, man, I'm not ready. I drink, I smoke." But what you just said that there's nobody that's perfect. You know what I mean? Yeah. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, every son of Adam is going to commit sins, but the best of those who sin is the one who do Tawbah. So I always try to advise my friend, mm -hmm. man, you can never say, you can never wait until you're perfect to accept Islam. That's not going to happen because we, nobody's perfect. You know what I mean? And I always tell them to take yeah. that step. And when you make a mistake, repent, man. So, you know what I mean? That foundation is Islam, bro. You know what I mean? That's, exactly. That's dope. That's dope. So how was your exactly. how was your family? Do you have family in Gambia that you you you're in touch with when you go back? Oh yeah, yeah. I got my grandma. I got my uncle. I got so many families. I don't. Even, I can't keep track of all of them. Yeah, There's so many. So right. so I was there for was it seven days? Okay. And I had to visit everybody. I had to have a little vacation with my family. You know, visit yeah. a spot project for three days. It was crazy, but crazy. yeah, I got a lot of family. A That's lot of dope, family. Bro. That's dope, man. Yeah, man. Now so, that they know that I'm champ, they, they, everybody is my family now. And then I'm sure all your cousins and boxes <laughs> all of a sudden, huh? <laughs> yeah. They all probably want you to, to, to test their skills. You know what I mean? Yeah. So now you with Floyd Mayweather Promotions, right? With yeah. The Mayweather Promotion. What's next for you? Mayweather. What's next for you, bro? I'm hoping to get a rematch with uh, the last guy, John Pascal. So. Which it was clear victory on your on your on your part. Everybody yeah. said that, man. That was a clear robbery. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was yeah. clear. That was crazy, bro. So I, so I gotta I gotta finish uh, what I started. So I gotta. Sure. It was the twelfth round, so this is round thirteen. If 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 we fight, so <laughs> it, sure. it uh, hopefully it'll happen. You know, <clears throat> Floyd always uh, got my back when it comes to getting me the big opportunity. So. That's I believe that fight's gonna happen, but yeah, now this thing, Corona thing, happened. But inshallah, after when this is over, inshallah, you can get it popping. Get it popping, man. You know we we here supporting yeah. you, bro. You got you got your brothers yeah. there. We support you, man. You know what I mean. And the coronavirus, you, we just kind of reflect, man. It's a time like I always tell people, man. Let's reflect. Ramadan is coming up. It's probably gonna be the first time yeah. where the massage is closed. We want. It's it's difficult times, but patience. You know what I mean. We all gotta have yeah. patience, man. You yeah, know? this is all a test. It's all a test, man. It's all a test. Yeah. So, man, I appreciate your time, Badu, man. You know what I mean? I appreciate your time, man. I figure we we do it. We get it cracking with you, bro. <laughs> all right. Thank you. I appreciate it. How, when are you coming to the States? Man, you know what I mean? <laughs> the way it's going in now, I'm afraid to even yeah. come out there, bro. But you know what I mean? Now yeah. everything is on lock. I usually come every summer to L.A., but I yeah. was because I, we just opened up the coffee shop, so I wasn't going to be able to travel this summer anyway. So now we're oh, waiting okay. for this to be over, man, so we can get the business going. You know what I mean? That's another yeah. thing. The business is new. The coronavirus hit us. But as a Muslim, we yeah. always say, alhamdulillah, we know everything is from Allah. It has wisdom behind it. We can't really yeah. get upset. We Come can't on. really trip. We just have to have patience. You know what I mean? For sure. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, speaking of L.A., I, I just saw a documentary last night on Netflix. Uh, what's it called? L.A. Original. Okay. Pretty dope. Yeah, yeah. Cool, huh? pretty good. I'm gonna check it yes. out. Since I'm just yeah. watching Netflix a day, man, so I'm gonna check it yeah. out. I'm, I'm also seeing <laughs> my documentary. I want you to check it out. Oh yeah, documentary, man. You check it out. Let me do yeah. it. <laughs> Bro, I see. I I've seen it three times already. Oh wow, dope, dope, dope. You dope, you sent me. You were, I was one of the first. You sent it to me. See, man, I'm getting old, bro. Who's, bo who's, who's boxing? Me or you, man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm getting old, bro. I'm getting old. But I can't no, wait for I you to come it. here. I love it. I appreciate it, man. We can't wait for you to come to Saudi, man. You got a lot of brothers that want to meet you here. And uh, once everything oh, is bro. over, man, you come out here, we chill, take you to get some ribs at Smoky Beards. You know what I mean? Yeah, I can't wait, man. Um, Everybody's talking about it. We got to get you here, bro. Then you got to get some coffee yeah. at the MW Cafe and just chill, man. We go to Mecca together. <laughs> yeah. Inshallah, inshallah, inshallah. When this is over. For sure, man. So it's good talking yeah. to you, bro. Let's keep in touch. You know, I appreciate you Mike taking Brent, your time, bro. man. I know you're a busy person. You got a busy schedule with your family. Appreciate you taking your time. A lot bless you. Your beautiful kids, man. Keep them bro. safe. Keep them all safe, my kid. Likewise, right. my brother. Thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate right, you, bro. I'll speak to you soon. All, all right, right, brother. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam.